What's up, everyone? It's me, Codenet, here again, back with another reaction video. Um, this is uh going back to my ghost, ghost, ghost. Uh, I hate saying that, my ghost adventures. Uh, my ghost, uh, venturing into more of the ghost. Uh, the ghost. Uh, uh, dis dis discography. Can't think of the word. Uh, this is Square. Squ uh, this song Squ Square Hammer. Um, I don't think someone uh suggested this. Maybe they did. Maybe they did, but I don't remember. But I just typed in ghosts, and this is one of the first things that popped up. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, um subscribe uh for more content. If you're not new, uh, going to be that thumbs up and uh. If you like my this reaction and my previous reactions, I'll be doing a lot more, um, more consistently, or try to. Uh, my ADD is really, really bad. Again, this is Ghost Squ Square Hammer. I again I think I, I said this about all almost all the songs but I love the um I love the uh, har uh, harm uh, harmonies that the guitars and the keyboards are making and his I don't know something his voice is just so subtle and unique I don't think I've ever heard you know anything sound like this but it, it goes well with the with you know the um with the riffs like the head the heavy riffs and the and the riffs like this um i don't know it just it just really uh, uh grown on me oh i was trying to read so this is Papa Demetrius the Third. Is it? Uh, I think someone said there's numerous uh, Papas. So this is the third, and there's like the a fourth one, like four. I think it's only two. I know the third and the fourth. <laughs> What uh, what was he doing? Hold on, Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, that's not good. What I do is just point like pointing uh his fingers and then the gun motion, but he's just pointing. I don't know. I live in America, so we're like it's fucking wild over here. I like the intro, intro, the introduction to the, those those piano keys. I don't know, that's caught me off guard. But this is, I'm not, I don't want to get around. Pop of the fourth. Um, I'm not sure. Someone let me know. <laughs> we look spoilers. The 
sorry, just got the Arizona Square. Now a lot a lot of a lot of people know I don't know, I guess y'all either dive deeper into the songs, um Are you on the square? I I don't know. I I really don't know know what that means. Are you on the square? Are you on the level? Are you ready to swear right here, right now before the devil? Uh I guess I, I guess you can get a meaning off the last part there. But the square, well, I don't know what that, that means. On square, revenge. Hiding from the light, sacrificing the things. Still, you call on me from for. Still, you call on me for entrance to the shrine, hammering the nails to a sacred coffin. You call on me for powers, clandestine. Again, I should do my own research at uh out of this and and di and. Do more analysis, but a lot, a lot of y'all have been actually doing that pretty well since y'all like listen to this band a lot more than I have, and and known this band for many, many years. And I'd rather hear other people's perspectives on what different songs mean. You know, some songs don't even have the meaning; they're, they're just there. But some songs do have some kind of meaning, you know. So if you any if you have any thoughts, uh, go and leave me in the comments below. It's much appreciated. Yeah, keyboard I like I just <laughs> I don't know what's about it but I love that little keyboard riff um sounds like a very like an old um it's from like an old movie and it has like organs playing in the background it's almost eerie in a way but but not in a sense I love I love uh oh his name is Tobias that People have mentioned. I love his uh, aesthetic wares, especially this Pope one with the um, with the. I guess there, there's some of the ghost uh, logos upside down cross with a G in it. So, uh, for y'all that know, when does he, um, make the change from Papa Matrix the third to Papa Matrix the fourth? So, I don't, does does he do that for every album? He changes his his name, like his uh, character, on every album, or just like a like a particular, I don't know, like they go through like eras. Um, it is very interesting. I just never seen that before happen, uh, or seen anyone do that in any other bands that I've heard or listened to, and I said that's just pretty unique. And you know, how bands, you know, how they they uh, progress, they change over time. That uh, they they usually do that with it with their style, with their style of music, or um. Or changes in their costume, but doing it with a name, I just I never seen that before. Like Slipknot, like they changed their masks through different albums, but uh, he's changes his like whole whole uh her 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 his whole image and name. Um, I'm guessing to every album, but uh, I'm not sure. I have to, again, I have to look at that, look at that back. Um. 
like this reaction video and if you uh go ahead and leave that uh, like uh, that like and subscribe uh, i appreciate it a lot and leave comments below for more suggestions and uh and correct me with stuff that i got wrong with what i said about the banks i know i i don't know them that well so i'm gonna get a lot of stuff wrong and a lot of y'all have been quick to correct me and i appreciate that um i'm gonna be posting more ghost reactions because uh it's they're just very interesting as a whole and i'm still trying to f figure out um a lot of bases behind their songs and and how and how how the band uh has uh gone through the years how their style has changed if they, if it hasn't um again if you like this video go ahead and give a like if you haven't already su subscribe and i'll be doing more content like this and i'll catch you on with the next video all right see you later